More than two decades ago, Britain's Royal Society of Art decided something needed to be done with a prominent but empty space smack in the middle of London's most famous Trafalgar Square. It's an open plinth where a statue was meant to stand. The society said that it should instead be a showcase for works from a rotating group of artists. Well, this year, it was the turn of an American who came up with a tribute to the lost heritage of Iraq destroyed by ISIS. From London, Roxana Saberi reports. In London's historic Trafalgar Square, a new sculpture tells a story of the past and points to an uncertain future. Designed by American artist Michael Rakowitz. Hello, London. And unveiled by London's mayor, Sadiq Khan, this week, the winged bull stands on a platform known as the Fourth Plinth, what's become Britain's most prominent stage for modern art. What's important is that people look at this great piece of art and talk about it and, you know, ask the question, why is the original destroyed? Uh, what is it that makes people feel so insecure about themselves that they've destroyed pieces of art? The story of the sculpture began nearly 3,000 years ago, when statues of winged animals with human heads, called Lama Su, guarded the city of Nineveh in what's now Iraq. Three years ago, in a museum in Mosul, ISIS militants took a drill to one of the statues, denouncing it and other priceless artifacts as signs of idolatry. I saw the, the destruction of, La, of the Lamassu, but I thought about the people that live near Nineveh and live near Mosul, and that's where I kind of understood the horror. A huge honor. Rakowitz decided uh, to fight back. I'm... He recreated the Lamassu using modern materials, more than 10,000 empty cans of date syrup. They tell another story. Iraq's date industry, once thriving, has withered from war. In London, it rains a lot, like today. Are those date cans not going to rust? I have date syrup cans that are nailed uh, to the outside of my uh, apartment in Chicago that has w withstood the Chicago weather uh, for the past two years. And if those cans can withstand Chicago weather, does that mean that they can withstand London weather? I, I'm not placing any bets. The grandson of Iraqi Jews forced to flee their homeland in the 1940s, Rakowitz grew up in the U.S. hearing about his cultural heritage while seeing images of Iraq torn apart. As a war zone, as a battlefield, and um, there's so much more. So 12 years ago, he began rebuilding Iraqi artifacts destroyed in war, using Middle Eastern food packaging and newspapers. He and his team have remade more than 800 so far. The Lama Sioux is the latest. For London's mayor, the winged bull symbolizes the strength of his city, which has faced its own attacks by ISIS. Why is it important to have this sculpture here in your city? This, for me, is uh, an act of resistance, an act of resistance against uh, the tyranny of religious fundamentalism. 20 million people are expected to see the Lama Sioux over the next two years. At the end of its run here in Trafalgar Square in two years, if the Iraqi people would have it, I would love for it to go back to Iraq. To Mosul? If they would have it, it would be an honor. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, London. I just love what he's doing. Just yeah. remarkable. Yeah. Food packages into art. It's Date cans, yeah. <laughs> Date cans. And as I like what the mayor says, he calls it an act of resistance. Yep. And it is.